This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Here's the thing. You've got your new 4K or 8K display and you just set up your home theater system. But you don't know what movie to pick up to test out your new surround sound system with. Well, we've compiled our list for the best sounding demo worthy movies on 4K Blu-ray or digital streaming. Now before we get into it, just a quick word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Do you like watching these videos of people sharing their experiences with movies or home theater gear? I know I do, that's why I wanted to start my own YouTube channel so I could share my interests with like-minded people like you guys. And you can do the same thing. Well, if you've got a camera and want to start making videos like we do, you can find classes on how to make videos with the equipment you probably already own. I remember making my first YouTube video with an old camcorder I had lying around. So whether you're interested in making YouTube videos or want to learn how to knit a sweater, there's most likely a course on Skillshare that can help you get started or to help you get better. And it costs less than $10 a month for an entire year. So if you're interested, you can use my link in the description to get two months of unlimited access for free. Now, back to the video. Okay, kicking off the list at number 10 is Fury. What can I say about this title? If you want to feel what it's like to be sitting in a tank firing shells, then this Atmos mix is probably going to blow a hole through your chest with the amount of eardrum blasting bass. The tank battles are the highlight in this mix, and so are the sounds of gunfire that can be heard traversing between every single one of your speakers. When there's downtime, you can still hear tanks in the distance moving around, or the chattering of people in the background. War movies usually sound great, and this one is one of the best. At number 9 is Transformers The Last Night. It's 110% pure bayhem. If you're a Transformers fan, you'll love the way the transformation sounds in Dolby Atmos. From the first second you play this movie, you'll hear fireballs flying right over your head. You've got giant robot dragons flying through the high channels, and giant ships crashing from above to the lower channels. Cars zip around the lower speakers, and of course, if you've got decently sized speakers, you can get full range explosions in just about every channel in the third act. There's always something going on in this movie. Coming in at number 8 is another giant robot movie, Pacific Rim, the first one. This one's got gobs of low frequency bass and awesome mechanical effects that surround you while you're inside the Jaegers. When Gypsy Danger battles that kaiju in the city, you'll be surrounded by collapsing buildings with debris scattering through all your speakers. And when the subwoofers kick in, you may start believing there's kaiju walking around outside. There's crazy LFE in this movie and always active height channels. The Atmos in this movie just rocks. In at number 7 in Dolby Atmos is The House with a Clock in Its Walls. I think people are sleeping on this one. The intro of this movie is pretty cool with all those clocks ticking between each channel. It's a precursor to how great and subtle this Atmos mix is. The movie is about a house and the sound design gives the house its own character with excellent atmospheric effects like floorboards creaking, ghostly sounds moving around the soundstage, and some killer infrasonic bass frequencies in chapter 4. Sure, it's a kids movie, but it's a great sounding one. Coming in at number 6 is Aquaman. This one's an Atmos mix, and that pulsating bass in the aquarium digs ultra low, and it's just impressive. Your subwoofers will have a fun time through this entire movie. The underwater scenes have fantastic height channel activity that gives you that full on surround effect. And even when people are talking underwater, you get that cool echoey reverb that travels through all your speakers. There's tons of demo worthy moments here, whether it's big action or just atmospheric subtlety. In at number 5 is Power Rangers. This one is definitely one of my favorite Atmos mixes. The beginning has a cool effect that starts off with you feeling like you're inside Zordon's helmet, so it kinda has that hollow sound effect with him breathing in all channels. As the camera pulls away, your room will start shaking when the ship flies from back speakers, overhead, then makes its way to the front channels. It's a demo worthy scene with perfect audio panning. The last half of the movie has zords flying through the height channels and explosions blasting away through the lower channels. You'll be surrounded with an insane amount of bass and destruction moves in just about every channel seamlessly. It's got a super detailed and wide soundstage and the musical soundtrack sounds excellent as well. At number 4 we've got Kong Skull Island in Dolby Atmos. The first time Kong makes his appearance and starts battling the soldiers is straight demo. Choppers hover overhead, bullets zing in and out through the soundstage, and Kong's feet stomp in the lower channels while his head can be heard roaring about 100 feet above you. This is a great realistic use of height sound effects. Your subwoofer will work overtime from the musical score, and the giant monster fights has some insane levels of chest pounding bass. Jungle sounds are always atmospheric and will transform your home theater into a hot jungle. This one's a must own. 
Next up at number 3 is A Quiet Place. This one's the most subtle of Atmos mixes on the list. Having great surround sound isn't always just about bombastic effects. If you want to test out how good your system can create a three-dimensional environmental soundstage, this movie's it. There's always some light subtle effects that are always present in every channel. Whether it's the sound of being inside the house or outside during the day or night, this Atmos track conveys exactly what you're seeing on screen and makes you feel like you're in that space. The audio mix can go from soft and peaceful to loud and abrupt in a second. This is a great mix and should be in your collection. In at number 2 is Godzilla, King of the Monsters. There's just something always going on all the time here. You've got Godzilla wrecking Ghidorah in the upper atmosphere, planes flying from front height to rear height, loud crackling lightning strikes, and rain effects surround you in every channel. Bass is just off the charts in this. When the monsters start getting into it, your chairs may start moving across the floor. There's a tremendous amount of LFE, so if you've only got one subwoofer, you might want to get a second one so you can truly appreciate this movie. This one's a keeper, just go and buy it. And coming in at number one is Blade Runner 2049. Just like Godzilla, there's neighbor shaking bass in this. I've watched the intro to this movie like a hundred times. Just the way the bass builds up and lingers is awesome. There's great atmospherics with rain and the sounds of the city filling in all the speakers. And of course, one of the main highlights is the musical score that enhances the entire movie with a deep and super detailed soundstage. This one's got great action scenes, quiet ominous scenes, and a killer soundtrack. The 4K video is pretty awesome too. If you need a movie to show off both audio and video, then this movie needs to be on your shelf. And I've got an honorable mention. This one's not on 4K, at least not yet. It's Gravity on regular Blu-ray in Dolby Atmos. The first chapter of this is just perfect. If you want to know how well matched your speakers are tonally, this movie's it. When George Clooney starts talking off screen and moves in a full 360 degrees, his voice should sound exactly the same when he moves from speaker to speaker. If he sounds like an adult in your front speakers, then sounds like a toddler when he's in the back or above your head, then it's time to upgrade. He appears to be doing some form of the Macarena. The scene where the camera moves in and out of Sandra Bullock's helmet is another standout effect. When you're inside the helmet, you can hear her breath surround you with an almost in your head feeling. Then as the camera pulls out, it gets all silent. I'm pretty sure this is where the Power Rangers got their in-helmet shot from. This is another one that can go from quietness to straight destruction in a second in every channel. There's excellent sound movement from lower to height soundstage and one of the widest sounding presentations on the list. If you've got the Atmos Blu-ray and the 3D Blu-ray, then why don't you just go on ahead and remux them both together. You'll have a perfect 10 for 3D video and for audio. Gravity is a definite must-have for home theater enthusiasts. Well, that's our pick for the best sounding movies to demo your home theater systems with. And it just so happens they're all Dolby Atmos. Now we pick these movies because there's always activity all the time in every speaker, and not just one scene that sounded great, like the beginning of Overlord. But that intro chapter was pretty killer. So what's on your list? Do you think we missed something or should we have taken something off? Now if you want to grab any of these movies, I'll leave links to them in the description down below. As always, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again in the next one.